Following a 3-6 and six record in preseason, the team practiced at home before traveling to Nashville for their season opener October 5th against the Predators. We just got to do a good job playing to our identity and we cannot beat ourselves. That's a, a, a thing throughout the season. We're going to do a great job of not beating ourselves. We got to be stingy defensively. We got to look for opportunities to counterattack. And, and if we do a good job of that, we can be a really good team. I mean, everyone's excited to get that first game out of the way and uh, to get the season going. Everyone battled, and like I've, I've said, the entire preseason from the, the, the opening interviews, I, I, I think we can shock people. And uh, we have guys that are warriors, guys that can compete hard every night. And uh, you know, for our line, we were clicking tonight. But uh, like, look at Luke Lindenning's game tonight, and uh, you know, it gives me chills thinking about it. He blocks everything, he wins faceoffs, he uh, scored scored the game winning goal. So uh, you know what, he does everything, and we got guys like that all around the room. Got us going. Howie, decor, great. Game winner, Flocks. Yeah. Uh, Howie, unreal, man. Um, but uh, big win, big two points. Uh, let's get two more tomorrow. It's become a thing in this town, and it's taken off. A red carpet greeting shared between the wings and their fan base before the first game of the season at home. A chance for real interaction and selfies and autographs as the players and some of the wing greats of the past make their way into the building. From the Olympia to the Joe to Little Caesars Arena, the home opener has always been special, and it will be tonight on this perfect October Sunday evening. Confidence in this league is a huge thing, and, and it can come and go fast. Uh, it's a huge thing because of how tight the league is. Every single night, uh, the games are decided by such a slim margin, it's crazy. Um, no team is that much better than another team, so confidence becomes a huge thing. So, and with that, like a line like Lark's line, like they got to play great every night, and that's a lot of pressure on the line. But I think Lenny said it to me. Uh, you know, with 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 pressure comes the privilege of, of playing a lot too, and I think uh, I think they welcome that. It's going to be a good year again this year. Fans were there last year. It's going to be exciting. Uh, probably have a great atmosphere in the rink the first game, and uh, hopefully we could give them the win.
They begin the season 2-0. and And the Red Wings love their fans, saluting them now. Uh, I know I made two points tonight. Uh, Bernie, you were awesome. The hearing about the physical presence out there was great. Uh, but I'm all with four tucks. Yeah. yeah. We could surprise a lot of teams this year. Let's roll and keep it going. Hello again, everyone. Ken Daniels alongside Mickey Redmond. While the Red Wings suffered their first loss of the season in game number three, it was a game against Anaheim, Mick, that got away from Detroit in the third period. It certainly did. They went into the third period leading one to nothing. They were outchanced about the halfway point of the third, eight to two by Anaheim, and a couple of turnovers really haunted them, and uh, they let one get off the hook. That's the kind last year that really hurt them, and the ones they need to turn around here tonight, their start against the Montreal Canadiens. They've only won three of the last 22 games against Montreal, either home or on the road. I think, you know, as the season goes on, we're, we're building a team identity, and, uh, you know, I think as we get into the four games here, our, our identity is not, never going away. Uh, relentless work ethic. for sure, but I think you could say that uh, about any game. But uh, I've been feeling good lately and, uh, you know, just trying to go out there and, and do what I can to help the team. Detroit breaks out, winning three of its first five games in spite of a tough opening schedule. The Red Wings then head out to Western Canada to take on Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton. The team drops all three games, starting an eight-game losing streak. Nah, obviously it was a tough, tough road trip, and... Um, all you can do is learn from it and move on. The Red Wings returned home to host the Vancouver Canucks. The team would continue to receive bad news as one of its top defensemen, Danny DeKaiser, would be forced to miss the rest of the season after undergoing back surgery. With DeKaiser lost for the season, it opened the door for a brash 21-year-old blue liner from the Czech Republic who is in his first full season with the Red Wings. Philip Heronik's emergence as Detroit's top defenseman was as stunning as his on-ice composure. Whether playing five-on-five, five, quarterbacking the power play, or on the penalty kill, Heronik was a force on the ice. He led the Red Wings in ice time, averaging 23 minutes, 54 seconds, and also led the Wings' defensive corps in goals with nine, 22 assists for a total of 31 points. A week after their game of the Canucks, the Red Wings would host another Canadian club in a pre-Halloween special, the high-flying Edmonton Oilers. Coming to the rink every day with uh, excitement, uh, getting a chance, a new opportunity to be around each other, and I think we have that. We have great togetherness in our, in our locker room, and uh, we have a great staff, and, and that's just as important as the players in the room, and they make it fun every day coming to the rink, and, and that's what it's all about. Connor come along not too often. Game 300 for him tonight. And seeing lots of Connor will be Dylan Larkin, who more often than not rises to these challenges. As the Wings have the challenge of getting two points out of a game for the first time in nine, that shouldn't be a scary proposition, should it? Right in the middle of the ice. Nemeth 
are going to say eight is enough. They're going to get a win tonight. Three to one. And Patrick Nemeth gets his first goal in 70 games. And it turns out to be the game winner. Okay, Bernie had the last puck. Long time. It's been way too long, boys, but a uh, hell of a job tonight. 60 minute. How we love the game, but got to give it to Nemo. Uh, really good job tonight, boys. That's off the really good team effort. We brought the third period to the last game and we got the results. So. All right.